Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen, and you know what? I learned the hard way that if you store your boats wrong or if you transport them wrong, you can really mess them up. So this video today is about how to store and how to transport your kayaks. All right, so now let's talk about how I transport, load and transport my kayak. Um, there's a couple of things I love to run my kayak on. First of all, I got my trailer. I, this is actually a Tennessee trailer. I think they call it like the Tanasi or something. Had it for about a year. Um, absolutely love it, but it's it's a big, heavy kayak. And I know a lot of you guys don't haul six around like I do. So the way I haul my kayaks around when I'm only, there's just me and I'm doing a lot of pond hopping and things like that, is I use a little bed extender. This is a T-bone. It's all aluminum, so it's really lightweight, and that's why I like it. So T-bone bed extender. Um, or any type of bed extender will work just fine. I like the T-bone just because it's light and it packs easily behind my truck, so or behind the seat in my truck. Anyway, so let's talk about how I load this stuff up. One of the things that I have learned from having the Hobie, which is an incredibly heavy kayak, is it it can be really difficult to load by yourself. So the way I do it is I start nose first. I line the kayak alongside the trailer or alongside my truck or my car when I'm going on putting it on top of it and I load the nose first and then I lift the back end up into it and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Alright so the first thing I do is I just lay it alongside just like that come over to this side and just lift it up and throw it on just like that. And the biggest thing is is to make sure that your your uh, your weight is even. You don't want too much in the back. You don't want don't want too much in the front. Just make sure your weight is even across the two bars that you put it on, or across your car, your truck rack. So now we're going to talk about how to strap it down. All right. So the key thing to remember when strapping your kayaks down to whatever you're you're carrying them on is to make sure you have the right kind of straps. You see, I see a lot of people with these ratchet straps. The problem with those ratchet straps is you is you ratchet them down so tight that it compresses your kayak and causes warping on the under on the underside of it. I've seen them as bad as they cause the the underside of the kayak to literally cave in, and it and it's almost impossible to pop it back out. So don't use those ratchet straps. So the straps I like to use are actually two different types. When I'm just running and gunning and going from pond to pond, and I'm not going very far, and I'm not going to leave my kayak anywhere, you know get out and go to the grocery store or anything else I use just a simple cinch strap you know pull it down cinch it up and it's done but I ran into a new kind of a of strap this last year I was checking out Drew Gregory's rig a lot of you guys who know Jackson kayaks know who Drew Gregory is and he had these really cool straps they're called canoe locks uh, let me get so, get one out real quick and I'll show it to you. All right, before I tell you about this, I just want to let you know this is not a promotional deal. This is just a really cool product that I found that I wanted to share with you. It's not inexpensive. I can't remember how much it was, but it was more than $50. I think it was like 60 something. I'll put a link down in the description to where you can go find it. I think I got it off of, out of Cabela's. Uh, so I'll put a Cabela's link down there. But anyway, what it is, it is a locking cinch strap. And what it has, it has two stainless steel cables that run down the outside of it. And and, uh, and you basically use it like a regular strap, but it's almost impossible to cut, okay? And by putting two, one across the front and one across the back, it makes it impossible to get your kayak off of your truck, off of your trailer, off of whatever you're carrying it on. And so it really is a huge theft deterrent. And as kayak fishing gets more and more popular, and as these things grow more in, you know, grow more and more in popularity, uh, you're gonna find a lot more of them getting stolen um, and so I worry about that a lot Especially since this is my livelihood and I love to travel with them. So I'm gonna show you real quick how I strap them down All right, so first of all You run it over top of Your bar on the back side. You really don't need to see this. It's just you're running it around it bring bro bring both straps clean all the way across Strap them around the other stay, the other way, or this Tennessee trailer has a uh, has a little hole I can drop a strap down in, and, and it's a steel welded hole, so it or a welded little buckle, so it doesn't, so nobody can just pull the kayak off. Okay, you run your buckle about right there. Take your strap up through it. And this is the key part. You don't want to pull it down too tight. You just pull it snug. Get your key out. Yes, I have way too many dead blasted keys. 
There it is, a little bitty key. Get your key out. Put the key in the keyhole. Biggest thing about this, and one of the biggest complaints about this thing is people bending their keys. And that's because they don't do this. Simply pull it down tight, turn your key, and it's locked. And that son of a gun ain't going anywhere. Nobody can break into it. Strap down the, your extra strap. Just give it a couple of wraps. Tuck it in. Pull it tight. And that's not going anywhere. And then you go to the back end and do it. All right, for the back, it's the same thing. You got this little loop. You can see a little bit better now. Right there, run it through. Run it up through the buckle. Pull it snug. Make sure everything's snug. Get your key out. Put your key in the keyhole and then make sure that you pull the buckle. You don't have to pull too hard. And then it's cinched down and it's not going anywhere. A couple of simple straps, maybe you can or, uh, wraps. Maybe you could want to tie a knot, you can tie a knot in this just fine. And that's how I do it. So whether you use a canoe locker or, or any other strap, just be sure that you pull it snug, everything is tight. And after about 100 miles of traveling, do it again. Pull it tight, just make sure everything is snug. And it is impossible, even though you're not running it through any holes in your kayak or anything else, it's impossible to pull this kayak out of these two straps when you have one strapped right there in the front and one in the back. So that is the best way that I found how to transport your kayak. All right, so this is my kayak rack. I have four kids and my wife and we all kayak. So I've got a spot for six of them. I've got my Hobie down here. I've got room for all of my other kayaks so far. I may have to build one more up top. I don't, I'm not looking forward to it if I do. But uh, the key thing is with the different types, different ways that you can store kayak, I chose to store mine on a rack. And when you store them on a rack like this, I started out not having this PVC pipe right here. And by not doing that, it causes the weight to all rest on one spot in the kayak and it causes a bulge or causes it to, to warp. And so to fix that, what you do is you measure the diff distance between the center of your scupper holes. Okay, so you got two scup scupper holes side by side. You measure the distance. It's usually somewhere between nine and 13 inches, depending, or nine and 12 inches, depending on your kayak. Then you take your PVC pipe and you mount it on your rack or whatever kind of stand you have and you mount it at that distance. So you want your, your PVC pipes to run lengthwise along your scupper holes all the way down your kayak. And by doing that, you support the whole kayak on its start, strongest point. And that's how I chose to do it. Okay, so the one thing I see a lot of is I see these double uh, straps, these uh, these black straps that you strap them to the side of a wall or up in your barn or garage or whatever else. And those are fine, they work great, but you've gotta make sure that you're storing it properly that way. I don't store them in those straps laying flat. The, the reason I don't do that is because it gets so hot here in the south, they can warp really easy if they warm up. I like to store mine on the side. So you turn that kayak up on the side with those straps on there and it will, for the most part, it will take care of your kayak. If it is a cheap kayak, and I used to have one, actually, I still have one, right there. You store those stucker suckers in the strap, and they're gonna warp just because they're thin plastic. So that's the biggest thing is I don't really like to use those because you run a risk of warping your kayak depending on the temperature that it gets during the summertime. All right, so say you have a uh, limited space in your garage or whatever, but you've got plenty of ceiling space. One of the best things to do is just store it vertically like this on the back of the kayak, not on the nose of it, but on the back. Put it vertical just like that, have a couple of bars right here, and then run a strap across it. And you easily put your kayak down, lift it up, and leave it there just like that. It'll store pretty much indefinitely without any issues. So this, if I was limited in space and I didn't have all this room to throw this rack, this would be how I store my kayak. And uh, and I wouldn't really have to worry too much about it. So those are the three different ways that I would store it. I know there's more than that, and there's tons of different ways that you can build racks, and there's videos all over the YouTube about all over YouTube about it. So I'll tell you, the one thing I like about using PVC pipe is it makes it easy to slide your kayak into the hole. I got my big rig in there. It's not the lightest kayak in the world, but it's real easy to put that nose up on top of the rack and push in, and it just goes in, and it, you know. I just I love this setup. I love being able to grab any kayak I want out of the rack and go with it, throw it on the trailer, strap it down, and be done. All right, so if 
if you've learned anything from this video, make sure that you don't leave your kayak sitting on one bar or one solid piece of anything that puts pressure on one single point for a long period of time. If you do that, you're going to cause problems. Don't pull your straps too tight when you strap things down. Make sure that you, you support as much of that kayak as you can and keep it secure. I'm telling you, those canoe locks are incredible. But like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. Get out on the water, go out and catch some fish, and have a great day.